there are way more intellectual black Democrats you could have sat down with, yet you, cho you chose an illiterate rapper, because that's what she is, she's illiterate. Yeah, that's Candace Owens throwing some major shade at Cardi B, following the rapper's chat with presidential candidate Joe Biden. And Cardi, she's not having it. Oh, snappity snap, snap. It all started on Sunday when Candace tweeted this clip of herself on the Ben Shapiro show, accusing both the former vice president and Bernie Sanders of pandering to black people by conducting interviews with Cardi. It is demeaning. It is pandering. It is ridiculous, okay? And she asked pointedly ridiculous questions. I want lower taxes, but I want universal health care for all. She had no idea what she was doing, and yet both Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden made the time to sit with her because they believe black people are stupid. And black people that thought, yay, that's a win. No, it's not a win. Yeah, she didn't sugarcoat it. It is one of the biggest insults. And Cardi, who has opened up before about English not being her first language, fired back on Twitter, writing in part, quote, I don't want to argue with you, Candace. I really don't have the time. I honestly just feel sorry for you. But that's not all Cardi had to say to the conservative commentator. Not even close. Quote, you are encouraging millions to vote for a man who laugh every time a black man gets killed by a cop and tell millions of Americans to drink bleach. Trump didn't even have you talking at the Republican convention. He thinks you're dumb. Oh yes, honey. Yes. Candace responded, claiming that she turned down making an appearance at the Republican National Convention. I get tired of your commenters and your fans saying, oh, she's clout chasing. I'd be clout chasing if I was challenging you to a rap battle. I'm not doing that. You're in my area. You're in politics. You're embarrassed because you realize you know nothing about anything when you're on Twitter. Candace did an eight minute long IGTV in response to Cardi on Sunday. You're only upset because people are telling you on Twitter that you got dragged because you did get dragged because you are uneducated when it comes to politics. Candace also mocked Cardi for asking Biden about lowering taxes while also wanting free universal health care. Cardi clarified in a later tweet that she wants her taxes to go to causes she cares about, like education. And that's when Cardi took the feud to Instagram Live. Why wouldn't Joe Biden sit down with me, Cardi B? I have millions of followers and I pay millions in taxes. I'm heard all around the world. So just like I can make people pop their and have a good time and make them feel like a bad bitch, I could also encourage millions of followers to go vote. And I don't know what black man broke your heart that you hate your kind so much. Once the dust seemingly settled, Cardi reflected on the feud and tweeted that she hates arguing with people, adding that she didn't even really know how they started fighting in the first place. As for Candace, she felt like she walked away from the beef victorious. Quote, she is still tweeting about me. I broke Cardi B. Of course, all this comes after Cardi spoke to the 77-year-old politician in August as a part of her feature in Elle magazine's September issue. We yep. may be related or something. Yep, Cardi B and Joey B. <laughs> Cardi didn't hold back sharing the issues that are important to her. And racism always have, have existed, but I feel like right now, there's just a lot of tension. And what? we need somebody to clean that. I'm just so tired of it. 